Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the People's Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture. We are building a nuclear power plant, number 105, by the way. Yes, we're building a nuclear power plant. After all this time running off the, the hydrocarbons, we're now going to run off the atom instead for our internal power needs. And when this is done, uh, it will take a little while, I guess. How many work days does it take it to build a nuclear single reactor nuclear power plant? 12 and a half thousand work days. That doesn't sound like a whole lot for a nuclear power plant, but okay. <laughs> Uh, and the cooling tower, 4,000 4, workdays remaining on it. Uh, you're sending so got that many workers here that uh, one concrete truck uh, it gets used up in like no time at all. Uh, I have a bit of a choke point in this road. I don't know if it's worth it uh, trying to do an extra service road or something. Probably not. Ah. Get in a bit closer maybe and have a look at the, at the chaos. Sure. How are we doing here frame rate wise? That it felt slow. It isn't too bad. It should be. It's, it should be enough. Yes, it is enough for now. But this new hardware is, is on the way. We could actually think about expanding the People's Petroleum Prefecture, maybe, to to beyond this 33, uh, 34,000 population mark, because that's sort of what what my current system can handle. Uh, but then again, this place is finished. Yes. I don't know what else to do if we were to expand it. We're self-sufficient on what we need to be self-sufficient on. We're the only thing that we need to import is still gravel. Since we don't have any exposed bit of rock, bedrock anywhere in the nation. We only have a scatter swamp muddy mess. Swamp, swampy muddy mess. Yes. Okay. This is like the extended version of my uh, my two reactors in two minutes uh, video, which is quite popular. Uh, has been since since it was posted, and it's uh, it's not that though. This takes this is one reactor, and it's in twenty minutes uh, or more. I don't know how long this will take. The groundwork so is uh, finished. Mm. Uh, the power plant, that's good. Uh, we now need steel, bricks, boards, and mechanical components. They have that, right? They have, yeah, they have access to it. Just going to need to wait for it to arrive. Yes, you will not be blinking here for for a whole lot longer. Utopia, for example. I think Utopia has a power transformer out here. Yes, it does. It does have a power transformer out here. That is being fed via this wire, I would assume. You can use... Uh, if you do the cancel wire tool, you can sort of make out which wire is which. If you highlight the pylon, you can see the adjacent pylons highlighted too. Right, so this one, but this, yeah, so this this comes from this one, comes from this switch, this for example, here we could hook up uh, the nuclear power plant, maybe, but I, I really want to uh, sort of throw a lot of this crap out, and uh, and start anew, but then, then we will be without... Many things will be without power supply. How bad could that be? Uh, in summertime it won't be that bad. 
and however bad it will be, we will rebound, right? Famous last words. I mean, even though we are so... You, you could say that we're pretty established, uh, little prefecture, but uh, make the, the wrong mistakes or the correct mistakes in, in the wrong or correct order, and you could end up losing the game pretty damn quick here. Well, I think as long as we take it uh, easy and, and one thing at a time, we should be fine. Well, this isn't too bad. Uh, this is going really quick, by the way. Yes, because we're running on high speed. Yeah, how do, how do we do this? Uh, we have high voltage lines going all over the place. And also one of these power plants, this one I think, yeah, this one. This one also has uh, all its medium voltage connections uh, hooked up. And that supplies uh, most of the People's Petroleum Prefecture proper town with electricity. That should be replaced with a transformer coming off the nuclear power plant. Indeed. <clears throat> for how much do we dare to be without power? This is the heating plant, for example. If that is without electricity for a long time, that's no good. In July it's alright, in, in November, October, December, January, February, it's real bad. Mm. This is about to be done. We're 50 percent. Uh, 300 workers on site. <laughs> I think that many are walking in. How, how, yeah, you see, all of these buildings are within walking range. Fantastic. We will have no problem in, uh, with supplying this with workers. And as far as the fuel supply, we have that. We have two fuel fabrication plants, and with the waste, well, I'll have a truck that, that takes it over the border. Either that or a rail. Nah. Nah. Why, why make it more compli complicated than it has to be? We'll use a truck uh, that just goes back and forth, and, and uh, we pay to get rid of it at the border. It's so goddamn cheap to get rid of, so why? bolter with it in any other way, shape or form. Here, there, they are pouring the concrete. Here they are framing the steel. Okay. The people of Utopia, what are they thinking here with this? I will, since they are, <laughs> they have constant brownouts. I hope they'll be uh, happy. Uh, I also have underground. Okay underground power lines going in here and we might be straining it a bit but many of these these buildings will be directly powered from the nuclear power plants that's good and uh, something like this we could do uh, an underground high voltage line directly from the power plant to that transformer oh the, uh, the cooling tower is done perfect very good very, very good. This is not a whole lot, uh, a whole uh, lot to go on, neither. A whole lot to go on. Uh, there's not a whole lot left to do on it, is what I wanted to say, I meant to say. Yes. 28th of July, will we have time to do this before, before winter? 
I will, I will be, have time to do a lot of it, maybe not all. We'll see. <clears throat> How much capacity does an underground high voltage thing have? 12 megawatts. So if we take a 12 megawatt line and hook it up to, to this one, that should be good. But this transformer does not only feed the, the Utopia Town, there goes a, a line in this direction here. That seems to be feeding, for example, the power, the heating plant. Do, do you get your electricity from anywhere else? No. <laughs> you only get this from there. Okay. Uh, great. Fuck. Uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time to take the power from there. Yeah. There was a transformer and it had available. Connections. No. Oh. So why not? Uh, yeah, why not indeed? Let's go uh, to a road vehicles depot and find ourselves some vehicles for transporting the nuclear fuel and waste products around. We have this standing around. It can take 12 tons on the flatbed. And maybe we want something a bit more modern. Open hull. Oh, a bit more modern, you say. Oh, this is the most modern thing we have, and it's off the market. The Scania, one, two, four. Thirty-two tons on the flatbed. Yeah, this will have to supply. And this will have to take the, the waste out. Okay. Yep. That would be good. Uh, for the time being, for the time being, for the, for the moment, the way it works is that the, there is a truck going from the nuclear fuel fabrication plant here. Yeah. And it loads up this ship. Yes. And it's right there. Okay. You, could, you go here too, right? We, we do it like that, or, or how do we do it? Yeah, sure. Wait until loaded. And uh, then you go to nuclear power plant and unload. Nuclear power plant is not finished. It is about very close to be finishing here now. It is just about. Where is this? Future has arrived to the Republic. So, oh, after that you've been there and waited until loaded, you go to the to the power plant and you unload. No engineers or workers, no, but that, that's going to take care of itself here pretty soon. And you, you go there, load, and you wait until loaded on vehicles or containers. Yes, and you also do vehicles and containers, doesn't, I don't think it matters, but whatever. Yes, and then you go, this, this little one that is, uh, if we wait until loaded, it will stand around with nuclear waste for a little while. And maybe spreading a bit of radiation, we'll see how it goes, we'll, we'll have it like this for now. Or we could have it just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and, and only getting a container of waste every now and then. Wasting a bit of fuel, but we have so much fuel, so it doesn't matter that much. Yes. I am looking for... I'm in search for the nuclear fuel fabrication plant, which is here. Uh, you, could we send you away or something? So that the other truck... We have another one of these two, it's right here. We apparently have two trucks already. No, one is bringing in UF6 to be turned into this stuff, that's correct. Right, but what you, can, what you could do is... Uh, Add a stop here after the nuclear fuel fabrication. You go by, go by the power plant, 
unload until they're full, and then you head down to the harbor. What was what whatever's left. That's how we'll do it for that one, and uh, for the other one we have dedicated truck. Where is it? Here it is. Isn't it lovely? It's gone here. Red, blue, green, black, white. Ah, the truck is a whole lot lovelier than the roads. Uh, uh, I can say for certain. Okay, you will stand around, you will wait, and it will take some time for you to get get the stuff. That's okay. Uh, don't use won't be using a whole lot. That truck has been sent and it might even have... has not arrived. It is arriving just now. Very good. There we go. You know how you now have 600 kilograms of nuclear fuel? I don't know how long that will last you, but it will probably last you a while. The waste truck should be on its way, it's right here. Good, 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 good. You're fully stuffed. Yes, you're completely fully stuffed. This is no longer blinking in the night time. Oh, that's... Uh, Work done then. Uh, no, it's quite a bit of work to do to go. Yes, but that's next time that we'll uh, mess with the grid. It's the 4th of August. Yes, it is the 4th of August. Yeah, but I think that will be good. I uh, uh, just hope that we get enough fuel in here. Uh, how, how quickly do you go through this? You shouldn't, at this rate, you won't go through it that in 1.1 megawatts, right? <laughs> no, at that rate, uh, we're, we're not going through it at all. We can start by, by doing this one. Cancel wires. I can't quite see where... where it goes. Since this is a bit non-critical, maybe, at least for a while. That goes there. And one easy way <coughs> would maybe be to hook up a, a, a connection from the power plant, nuclear power plant, to where, where that came out of. Anyway, this, yes, what type of wire? It was one of these, right? Yeah, it was. Uh, we take it to the uh, end here. Electricity problems all around. Yeah, what? I uh, don't did not expect a whole lot different than so. There we go. Okay, that's it. Power plant is online. Uh, could we get a bit more fuel into it? How are you doing here? You have one container more. I don't think that we have... No, the staffing is turned way down here. That is quite alright, I mean... Yeah, we could... We have... <laughs> we do have quite a bit of fuel, uh, nuclear fuel on the ship. We could uh, we could load it... Unload it from the ship. Actually, yes. We, we do that. Unload, wait until unloaded. And come back here. Don't do anything silly now. Come back here. Yes, now we take this uh, this truck. You go to the harbor here and load vehicles containers there until we're filled up. Wait. Uh, 
You silly sheep, don't uh, don't go away. Come back. Come back here. Come back here. This is going to work, I believe. Should. Yes, we are 100% certain that we have plenty of... Plenty of the fuel in the thing. This doesn't look quite right to me. I think the, there should be a... Pretty sure there is a, a tunnel entrance here, but it's been caved in or something maybe. There, there you go. Be careful here where you put this. I think we'll uh, we'll depot this depot. We'll put it in a, in in the dock so that it doesn't do anything silly whilst we're loading up the reactor with fuel. Indeed. There you go, we put you uh, put you here somewhere where, where could we put you? Slow down. Uh, here we can put you for now. Now we have the track go go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until the reactor is fully loaded with fuel. This is sort of what's in the reactor, and then it, it can also have uh, things standing around here. So you go back and forth a few times uh, to load it up on fuel, and then now we're good. Should be good. And when this is back online, uh, being it's being constructed, right? Now they have gravel and concrete on the site and an excavator. Very good. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching installment 105, was it? No, I think it was 105 of the People's Pro Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture. Now with nuclear power, now nuclear powered to, to, uh, to a small extent, to a small bit. Yes, next time, at the end of next time, I hope that will be much more nuclear powered than we are right now. Good night.